Hey guys, Adola here. Recently, there have been a lot of concerns about internet privacy and how to keep yourself safe online. So I decided to create a sort of mini-series that I'm going to call How Much Malware, where I see how much malware I can get from these download websites such as download.cnet.com and Softonic. And don't worry, I'm not going to deliberately ruin a computer's hard drive just for the sake of this video. Everything I do is going to be inside this clean install of Windows 10 on a virtual machine. If you don't know how to set up a virtual machine, I'll have my video for that linked below. So today we're going to be taking a look at CNET's download.com. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to download the top 10 free pieces of software from this website. I'm going to run through the installers, not even bother at looking at any of the check marks or questions that they ask you just click yes for everything and then we're going to run malwarebytes and see how much malware comes up Okay, so we'll pause it right here. Microsoft Windows Defender has actually detected that one of these downloads is unsafe. No matter how much flack Microsoft gets for their Windows Defender programs, it's actually not that bad. The, pr the program isn't that bad if it's detected this. I'm still going to download it anyway, just for the sake of this video. Right, so we've got all of our downloads here. This was the one that Windows Defender def detected as being malicious, so we'll install that one last. Leave the best to last. So after that long run of installing, you've got loads of programs down the side. A lot of them I didn't actually install, I didn't download the installers for, such as Dashlane and Google Chrome. And this antivirus system care thingy even added a pop-up on this side of the window. We've got this little notification down here, and two apps have actually pinned themselves to the taskbar. So now we're going to run Malwarebytes. This is personally my favorite antivirus software and the one I have installed on my physical computer. So we'll download this, run it and see what comes up. Now that the scan's finished, let's have a look through what it came up with. They all seem to be potentially unwanted programs, such as files, processes. I think there are some registry entries in here, yep. So I suppose at the end of all this, the lesson is, don't download programs from the, these download sites. Go to the actual maker of the program and download it from there. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. See you all next time.